Hello, my name is Russell Preston Brown from Adobe Systems, and in this presentation, I'd like to talk about a great new lens profile that we now support here inside of Adobe Camera Raw 8.2, here inside of Photoshop, and of course, inside of Lightroom 5.2. In these latest updates, we now support the GoPro Hero 3 series of cameras with a new lens profile. As you can see here, I have a series of images taken here at Adobe, where I'm photographing this panorama that I'd like to merge together using the GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition. Now I pan around with the Black Edition and you can see the enormous amount of distortion to the architecture in this space. I'd like to remove that distortion. So I simply select all of my images here inside of Adobe Bridge and then I'm going to do Command R on the Macintosh or Control R on the PC to open them all into Adobe Camera Raw. Now, of course, the adjustments I'm making here inside of Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Bridge can also be used inside of Lightroom. Now, I'm going to immediately go right up here to this menu, the Lens Corrections. In this latest release of Adobe Camera Raw and Lightroom, if you select your Lens Corrections, you can go right down here and enable the lens profile corrections and it automatically detects the metadata inside of these GoPro Hero 3 images and identifies this as a Hero 3 Black Edition as you see here to the right. And it automatically applies the correction. It's really amazing. I'm going to turn my preview off and then on again and you can see the dramatic adjustments that are being made to straighten the distorted edges of the building. Now there's an added bonus to this distortion removal because if I select all of my images here to the left and then apply this profile to all of my images then select done and it will then apply it to all of these and I can then merge these together easily and quickly into a panorama. Selecting the images as you see here, going to my tools menu down to Photoshop and over to Photo Merge right here. The results will then look like this. I can then merge all of those images together in a really nice seamless fashion as you see here. So that's one of the great advantages of then using this new profile to help you merge images together. There's a second great advantage to this new update. You can apply this same set of profiles to video here inside of Adobe Photoshop CC or inside of Adobe Photoshop CS6. However, keep in mind that these profiles will only work in Photoshop for video and not in Lightroom. Lightroom, of course, supports these profiles for still images only. Check this out. In this video, I've captured Bodie State Park here in California with a GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition attached to a DJI Phantom quadcopter and I flew over the town. You can see the strong distortion to the horizon. I'd like to get rid of that. Of course, with video here inside of Photoshop, I can target the video in this case inside of Photoshop. It's a smart object. I can go to my filter menu and down to lens corrections right here. I can then apply a lens correction and once again, we'll go over here and select our camera type of GoPro and you can see that it's selecting the Hero 3 Black. I could also choose the silver or white but in this case it's the Black Edition. You can see the distortion has been corrected. I simply click OK and in this case it's applying a smart object distortion for this lens correction to the entire video. <laughs> really fantastic. The final results from this would then look like this. I'll go ahead and play the finished exported results here inside of Photoshop where this lens correction has been applied to the entire video, getting rid of the distortion in the building as well as correcting the horizon. So there you have it, a great new lens profile support here inside of Adobe Photoshop CC, Adobe Photoshop CS6 and of course Adobe Lightroom 5. Be sure and download the latest updates to Adobe Camera Raw and you're looking for 8.2 for Photoshop and you're looking for the update 5.2 for Lightroom 
so that you can use these same profiles on your GoPro Hero 3 series images. Give it a try.